The wildlife tourism industry in South Africa is among the most highly rated worldwide. Thanks to ongoing efforts and foresight of conservationists, South Africa remains the host to an abundant variety of wildlife and vegetation. Many tourists visit to see what's called the Big Five, known to be some of the most dangerous animals on the continent. And at the top of the list, the lion, king of the African savanna. Canned hunting and lion hunting is legal in South Africa. There is many definitions for the canned hunt that where animal was hand raised, so they have clear direct contact with animal, they get used too much to the animal, which gives psychology impact on the animal. And at the hunting time, the animal don't have fair chance, so the animal trapped in very small area. The hunter cannot perform proper hunting, so the animal suffer a lot. They shoot many times and uh, it causes a lot of pain and suffering for the animal. If we from Europe come to any foreign country and we think that it is uh, the best ever thing to, to go to a place where they have baby lions and don't think about what that means. So they love to go to safaris and to go uh, to big game reserves and see the big five, but they also go to places where lions and other wild animals are kept in captivity and in not very good conditions, like carpeting and things like that. This is something really difficult for us to understand how somebody claims that he loves his animal, he cares about his animal, he's raising his animal as if they are their, his babies. And after this, he let them be killed in front of his eyes. This is really something very difficult to understand. The Minister of Environment in 2005, Minister van Skalkweg, tried to, to clamp down on these practices. He was um, unsuccessful because the breeders and the hunters took the draft legislation to court and they actually won that case. And that in many ways served as a, I guess, a legitimization to many that, okay, well, it's now it's all legal and it's all okay. And a lot of the hunters just climbed on board and started making a lot of money out of these practices. It is a global issue because 99% of all the can hunters that come to South Africa are from outside of the continent. Many of the volunteers, in fact I'd say the vast majority of the volunteers that are coming to work on these petting facilities are from outside of South Africa. What they are saying to the volunteers and all these visitors is look, we're breeding them in large numbers, we're going to release them, and we're part of the solution. That is completely incorrect. That is a fraudulent message that's being put out there. Not a single lion being bred in captivity can be used for any release program. It's not possible. You cannot replace the wild populations with captive bred populations. We have here at Lion's Rock the same situation. Of course, we would love that those animals can go back to the wild and that they can live wild, yes, but it is not possible. They were bred over generations in captivity. They didn't learn how to hunt. They are um, unfortunately also compromised in their health uh, a lot of times in those breeding farms. While captive bred lions cannot be released into the wild for their own safety, organizations such as Four Paws are working to rehabilitate these predators. They aim to create environments comparable to their natural habitats where they can enjoy the remainder of their lives. In general, century is to, to secure life of, uh, of animal that was abused in, in different situations between substandard zoo, private captivity, circs, and so on, and we give them the best possible care for the rest of their life. So it is life, time commitment, and long life home for the animal. Lions Rock has rescued more than 90 big cats and provides them with appropriate habitat several hectares in size. Volunteers provide enrichment services on a weekly basis. Enrichment is uh, to support the animal to balance their needs of uh, extra activity to move wild in the enclosure, so it is more like toys for the animal, keep them busy and get more interaction. Yeah, it is a Obviously, when you breed them in captivity and you raise them, you take them away from the mom, so you raise them, they are having a connection to the humans. Uh, they trust 
they have to, you know, so unless you completely would abuse them, but if you feed them, if you give them what they need, uh, then they will trust you as a human being. And then to eventually just, you know, use this trust to be able to shoot them is one of the most horrible things I can imagine as an animal loving person. The people dealing in, in the market is mainly for money. They are breeding, they are trading with the animal, they are selling the animal for whatever reason, from trophy hunting, canned hunting and bone trade, just for this purpose of uh, getting money. We believe it's an extremely poor educational uh, program as well. Taking kids to see lions and predators in confined areas in cages tells you nothing about the ecology of these animals, about their natural behavior, um, and in fact all it does is just reinforce this notion that lions and predators can be used for our entertainment and our fun and that it's okay to keep them under these conditions. When you come to South Africa, do your homework, search before you come, see where you are coming, what you are going to do this place, the animal in the place, what is their future. That the last Professional Hunters Association, which was in November last year, they took their big vote and 62% of them voted to stop all can hunting and in fact I think they referred to expelling errant members. And this was quite nice movement and support from many airlines uh, like KLM, like Emirates, like Qatar, like South African Airways to a certain extent that they start banning uh, trophy transport and uh, that their airlines will not, will not allow any animal transport outside of South Africa, which is good movement from, from big partner in, 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 in this field that if you cannot move your uh, trophy outside of the country, you will think again about uh, hunting the trophy. Everyone at every level has engaged with us other than our own governments. From a legislative point of view, it would be, I think, fantastic if governments and the provinces stepped forward and said, okay, there's clearly an issue here. We have to stop the breeding. There's no need to be breeding predators for non-conservation purposes. So as long as we continue to tolerate the breeding, we'll have all these revenue streams and all these exploitative activities taking place. So that's the most important point. Uh, this would be nice supporting, nice motivation, nice uh, for us that we can work more, that we can do more to secure and to protect the animal. But closing the market, closing the demand, this will be the, the effective solution and this will come from raising awareness and education and telling people about the, the real face of, of this uh, industry. And each one of us needs to say, right, I must not visit one of these petting facilities. I must not come and shoot a lion that's been bred on one of these farms. And in that way, it will have a far greater impact down the line. Wild animals should be in the wild and this is where they belong.